Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to go from really trash, barely bare brows to nice and full and thick and natural, but not natural brows. <laughs> oh yes, that transformation, come on, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so lately I've been using the LA Girl Slim, Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencils. And honestly, they have been just shaking my world up. They have left me shook. Man, these are so, so good. And they're not super expensive. Man, I love them. So, first I'm going with the color Espresso. And I, of course, will lay out my brows first. And then I'm starting at the bottom of my brow, just tracing the shape. And then I'll move up to the top of the brow. So, yeah. And then I'm just using, I'm using this color. It's kind of a lighter color for me. I'm not a really fan of a lighter brown color for my brows I really like them dark not black but a deep deep brown color so I'm just using this lighter brown color just to trace out the shape to trace to trace out the shape <laughs> so I just don't mess up using that darker darker color and I'm gonna start all over you know what I mean yeah but these pencils have been just left me shook man they're so 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 good and now I'm going in with the color blackest brown. This is a, a darker color. I think they go one shade darker, which is like black. So I love, love, love this color. This is such a nice, deeper brown. It's, it's kind of a warm tone, but kind of cool. I'm really bad at explaining tones. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm just actually um, darkening up the tail of the brow. And then I'm working my way up towards the front of the brow, but not really taking it all the way up to the front. I'm kind of ombreing them a little bit, a nice fade. A really good key to use when you're doing your brows, make sure it's a natural fade. So yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to explain. And then now I'm going to carve out my brows with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And I'm using my Mikasa E. 100 brush which is lit i love this love 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 this brush for carving out my brows and so i'm just taking my time i'm starting at the bottom i always start at the bottom and i'm just taking 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 my time just doing this because it is just very very important that you get it right the first time because if you don't you have to keep going back with brow color and going back with concealer and then blah 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 keep doing that and trust me I've done that before so just honestly take your time and I love these concealers to carve out my brows I always use these concealers to carve out my brows sometimes I'll try something different and then I'll hate it and then I have to go back to this these concealers so these are a one <laughs> And then I go to the top of the brow and I, sometimes when I'm lazy, <laughs> I just carve out the tail at the top. But today I'm going to do, I think I did the whole top of the brow. But yeah, I honestly take my time, especially at the top around the tail of the brow because I have rushed before and messed up the whole brow. So don't rush. There's no need to rush. Yes, take your time. <laughs> and then I'm just blending all that out with my Finger. nothing fancy just, just using the fingers yes I love it so far slay yes yes slay come on yes love it so I went from this barely layers very sparse brow to nice full and natural so I'm gonna do that on this other side there we are I love it so pretty so pretty and natural extra but not extra that's my life motto <laughs> Yes, and then this is me with the full face. Of course, you guys have seen this look before. If you haven't, go check out that video. It's the one before this. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Hope you learned some stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys so, so much. 